welcome you all to Igangeses. So this is our orchard. It was donated by Stan Big Bank. In here, we particularly have the we have the jackfruit trees and the guavas. For the for the mango trees, we planted the other side. They are fruit trees as well, but they are also helping us to conserve the environment in general. So we hope um, with our girls. In fact, one. Uh, last year they had uh, an outreach in our single village to teach uh, the community about environmental uh, management. When you are an expert in something, mm. do not die with that expertise. Mm. You have to pass it on. Mm. So as I'm speaking now, despite the fact that other students are still at home, mm. but before they left, they knew that we were handling something. Mm. And so okay. in the process, if okay. this class leaves, mm. there is of course another class taking over have one 3,000 fruit trees we can feed a whole district on those fruits. Uh, so we are very grateful to Stambik uh, Bank for that opportunity. Uh, at Dara we have taken on the project of planting trees because we know the value of these trees and good enough. Stambik Bank gave us 100 trees and we have planted 62 mangoes and uh, 15 guavas. We know that the fruit trees uh, will help our children and the teachers to have food as fruits which are also nutritious and helpful to the health of everybody. If trees are not in an environment, you know very well that we shall not have enough oxygen and also the, we the weather will not, will not be that uh, comfortable. So we know very well that trees help in maintaining good weather. We have realized that the stu students that have particip participated in uh, Stambic Bank have not remained the same. Most of them actually have started their own activities, business activities, agricultural business activities that have enhanced their economy. Uh, friends, it is very important that we take care of our environment because the environment holds a lot, holds a very big part of our own life. So we need to give life to the environment for the environment to give us back life. As budding entrepreneurs, we thought of a business that is in line with environmental protection. Yeah, it's very important to conserve and protect the environment. But at the same time, we wanted to get money. So that's why we chose this business. The market for the nursery trees is big in the district because people have cut trees for charcoal, for firewood, and now there is big demand all over the place. So we felt when we have a nursery, then we can enter into that market for trees to catch up with this missing trees because of Chakobani, which is a big hazard in Kamri district. And as I earlier told you, we want to expand this project. Mm. We want to bring in more species, the fruits, the flowers, because there are only two types of, actually one type of flowers, yeah, the chogams. So we want to bring in other flowers and other fruit trees. Our nursery project has attracted attention. We are working directly with this forest officer. He has been here and is encouraging us to make it bigger so that we can be included on tenders at the district level. When I look at Tesso College Alouette, I am so excited and happy because the vision for what we want for Uganda is right here in Soroti district at this great college. What you see here in the background is the journey that we should all take to ensure that one, our forest cover goes up to at least 30%. We are at 14% in Uganda, the pearl of Africa, when we have schools like Teso College that actually bring that dream to life, it shows that it definitely can be. This is what we would like all our institutions to look like because those are the future leaders and job creators of tomorrow.